it's Ann. I'm back. I'm going to put on a quick cream look. <clears throat> but it's just going to be the eyes. It's not going to be the whole face. Because right after I finish doing the cream look, I'm going to take the eye stuff off. And then I'm going to do the last look with the Aftershock and the Color Workshop grays for the week so that when tomorrow gets here the hubby can pick something new anyway yes i know i'm being it's been one of those weeks i just haven't gotten anything done over it beginning <clears throat> now currently i've got on some stuff from the brand new ipsy bag no i'm not going to do an ipsy bag opening everybody and their uncle fud does them however i'm using the pixie h2o skin drink moisturizer and then i've got the elf foundation serum on over that lightly haven't done anything else to it just wanted to even the skin tone out yes i am trying a different camera angle and we will see how this goes. Anyway, this is the e.l.f. Nude Linen Liquid Eyeshadow. And I'm doing this that without any real base other than the little bit of um the serum foundation and moisturizer i did this one the other day just going out to the grocery but because i had other things going on like having to give people a ride to doctor's appointments and all that stuff I just kind of did a slap together real quick. Wasn't anything special. But it came out really, really nice. And it stayed put all day. And it was, I started the exact same way with just a little bit of the serum foundation and a moisturizer. I believe that day I used my um what was it oh yeah it was this one that my daughter-in-law gave me which is a Burt's Bees sensitive just daily moisturizing cream the, the un, a, along with that I put some of the super goop sunscreen because the Burt's Bees doesn't contain sunscreen But I basically just put that nude linen all over the eye. And then I got my AOA Studio Velour Eyeshadow. And yes, I'm using my fingers. We had fingers first. I keep reminding people of that. The Velour Eyeshadow is in a color called Lucky Star, which is kind of a movie color with a shimmer to it and I just kind of stroke that on again with my finger just like that like I said most of my cream looks tend to be on more of a subtle side than a lot of my powder just because I don't like them to get really really thick because if they get really really thick you end up with this nasty clumpy stuff now depending on if you got Ipsy this month depending on which ones you got because I know sometimes they put a little different version of other stuff in it the IMO um, 
Velveteen Dream Shadow that came in my Ipsy for May is called Super Base and it's almost the same color. Now this is a powder compared to the cream but it's so close and I'm going oh so pretty. I'm having quite a bit of fun looking at and going through my Ipsy bag. So, like I said, there's plenty of people who do the Ipsy bag routine. So, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to do a grand opening and all of that stuff. And just a little bit of a shimmer there. And then I took an eyeliner with a color. This one's supposed to be, it says it's purple. But it's, it's kind of pale. It's kind of cute. It was a, in a set of four that I picked up through Amazon. It's 36 hour precision liquid eyeliner, waterproof, and then it's got a lot of Korean characters on it and the name on it is Young Queen Ma and then my doggy is barking because the window is open. Anyway, I set up four of them, a black, a brown, a purple, and a blue. Two bucks. And now my husband's talking through the window. He's out mangling the grass. Yes, I am holding my eye just a little bit. Because if I don't, it quivers. If you do not already have issues with your eyelid, like wrinkles and such, or nervous shakes, or anything like that, don't pull on your eyelid. Just no. No. Don't argue. reached into the drawer and picked out a random pencil. It ended up being the same one that I actually used, which is called Mint Green. Because I haven't pulled anything out since I did this last. And it's not really going to show much of anything. because the pencil is really pale. I need to get me some pencils that will show up a little brighter. And then I got my Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus waterproof which has got a really funky wand to it it's sort of like the bad gal bang because it's it's flexy but when you first open the tube for your first application it's going to be watery 
what I have a tendency to do with most of the wet and wild because they do are sometimes a bit watery on the first opening is I will open them when I get them and while I still have some other mascaras to work with and I will crack them open and flap the wand around for a few minutes and kind of move the tube around here and there so that air gets down into it. And then I will close it back up, not terribly, not completely tightly, but I will close it back up and throw it in my drawer with the rest of the mascaras and I'll check on it in about a week. Yeah, it's a bit of a tedious process, but this cost me five bucks. I can do some tedium because then once it starts to thicken up because the air has gotten into it, it reminds me a whole lot more of that Bad Gal Bang mascara than just the flexi wand. I get a lot of build out of it and it does very very nicely on my eyelashes that are getting nicely long because of my use of the Rimmel Lash Serum that's really good stuff guys I've been using it on my lashes and my eyebrows and yeah I haven't done anything to my eyebrows today at all <laughs> nothing the moisturizer and that serum foundation are so lightweight they don't really clog up my eyebrows the way regular foundations do. So I haven't done things like comb through it to fix it. To put in specifically, you know, draw the eyebrows in. I'm having a lovely time looking at this and going, I don't have to draw my eyebrows in. I can go to the swimming pool and still have eyebrows. This is a good thing. I'm really appreciating that Rimmel Lash Accelerator. It's working an absolute treat. Anyway, this is all I did. And I got quite a few compliments because I went out shopping without any of my usual accompaniment, which is actually kind of odd for me because I have some issues with um, social anxiety. That's why I'm doing this on video. Okay, guys? I'm not standing in front of a bunch of people talking and teaching. Social anxiety. Great stuff mess your day up. Anyway, while I was out, I had quite a few compliments and at least one offer of going out for coffee. So, it was interesting. What do you think? Yes, I know. It's pale. Sometimes you just want to throw on enough stuff to make it look like you bothered. Think about that. 
enough stuff to make it look like you bothered. You don't have to be on, as some people would say, on fleek 24-7. You do not have to be snatched and dashed. You do not have to have your face beat into shape every day. Is that fun? Oh, yeah. Do I feel like doing it every day? Yeah, not in a very long time. <laughs> it was one thing when I was working and working regular types of jobs. I would do, you know, whatever fit the location and the style. And I would put on just mascara and eyeliner when I was still working in medicine. That was enough. I was running up and down halls helping doctors with patients. It was not necessary to be fashionable. It was necessary to keep moving. Once my legs stopped working the way they were supposed to, I put a little more makeup on because I was sitting at a desk and I wasn't going to be sweating it off. And then for a while, I worked in real estate as a realtor. And I put some makeup on so that I looked like a professional business person. Always a good thing if you're trying to sell somebody that's that expensive. You want to look professional. Now, I just do it because I'm one. I'm mostly retired pretty much on a couple of variants of disabled list. No, I do not collect disability. That's one of the reasons, another one of the reasons that I do this stuff on video. I'm hoping that eventually by the time I get to an age where I should be making my regular Social Security, if it's still there, please, God, don't let them kill everything. I'll have possibly enough people following me and, you know, it's taking a few years to build it up get enough people following me that it's like maybe I've got a little gas money or a couple of bucks to go buy another um, palette or something based on my YouTube income. We can hope. Or at least I'm going to. But that's the cream look. Tell me what you think. No, really, tell me what you think. Anyway, there is no bail money here. Be good.